we're now going to have a look at rationalising the denominator for thirds. So take this first question, write 6 over root 3 in a form that has a rational denominator. Well, irrational denominators, first of all, are seen as being a bad thing. They're seen as being bad presentation. So we should always want to turn something with an irrational denominator into something with a rational denominator. The way we do this, times the bottom by itself to get a nice whole number on the bottom. But because we've done it at the bottom, we must do it at the top as well. So here, we're times it by root 3, divided by root 3. That's just 1. A number divided by itself is 1. So all this is doing is timesing by 1, but in a really clever way that allows us to represent the third in a different form, but still keeping the same value. So the top, 6 times root 3 is 6 root 3. And the bottom, root 3 times root 3 is 3. Almost done, but we can see that there's a bit more simplification that we can do. 6 root 3 over 3. Well, that's 6 divided by 3 cancels to 2 to give us an answer of 2 root 3. We can check our answers on a calculator by just simply typing the original third in there. So 6 over root 3, then pressing equals, and the calculator present it in a form with a rational denominator. Okay, part B. So look at part B. It's asking us to rationalise the denominator for 3 plus root 5 on the bottom. So what we need to do here is times by the conjugate of the third. So it's not as simple as before, just times by root 3 over root 3. We need times by the conjugate of the third for more complicated ones like this. Now the conjugate of a third is just the third part with a sign changed. So the conjugate of 3 plus root 5 is 3 minus root 5. And if we do that at the bottom, do it at the top as well. Multiply it out now. 5 times 3 is 15. Take 5 root 5 over 9 minus 3 root 5 plus 3 root 5 take 5 and notice because we've times the third by its conjugate the middle two terms cancel it's the difference of two squares almost right simplifying this well, the top's as simple as it gets 15 take 5 root 5 and on the bottom 9 take 5 is 4 checking this on the calculator as we did before just type the original third in there, 5 over 3 plus root 5 equals 15 minus, root, uh, minus 5 root 5 over 4, and we're done with that one.